Hello everyone and welcome back to another SolidWorks video. Now for this video we're going to be going over the drafting, different kinds of drafting standards, how to change them, and how to change uh, font size, um, as well as the way things are represented on our drawings. So the, I made this uh, drawing really quickly and I did it with using the ISO standard. So the uh, ISO means uh, International Organization for Standardization. Um, that's a standard that's used pretty much everywhere in the world outside of America. Within America, we typically use ANSI, which stands for the American National Standardization Institute. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we can change that. So I'm going to come up here to Options, and I'm going to click on Document Properties. So the overall drafting standard is ISO. I want to change that to ANSI. So I'm going to click this drop down. I'm going to select ANSI. And I'm going to hit OK, and we're going to see it change a little bit. So you're going to see the way everything is rep looks on the drawing now. It looks a lot more like the drawing that uh, um, I had, uh, had up. So it's going to snap and look a lot similar to what you're seeing here. So this is what was drawn using the, the ANSI standard. So let's take a, look, take a closer look at what else we got. So I'm going to go back into Document Properties. I come down here to Annotations, and I can change uh, text size for all the different annotations here. So for uh, balloons, datums, uh, notes, um, uh, revision clouds, surface finish, weld symbols. We're not going to really go a whole lot into this, but if you want to change the overall font size for um, an any kind of annotation, you can click on right there. Um, I'll minimize that. Uh, borders. Uh, we're going to leave that everything as default. The uh, dimensions is where you're going to want to uh, really do, where you want to do a lot of changes. So if I want to change the font size for all the dimensions, so for angle, uh, arc length, chamfers, diameters, whole callouts, uh, linear, uh, ordinate, or radius, I can change it all right here. Now I also can change uh, precision. So this will be how many uh, decimals that you'll go out to. So I'm going to change it to three. And I'm going to change this to three as well. And I'll hit OK. And you're going to see it go out to three decimal places right now. So it's making this um, our part more precise. So something to keep in mind if you're going to be doing drafting work in industry is that precision means more money. So if you need a part that doesn't need to be as precise, it's better to call out fewer decimal places as opposed to more. Because the more precise you want to make a dimension, the more expensive it's going to be. So let me go back in and uh, I'll go back to document properties. So I went to ANSI modified. That's just saying that I've uh, deviated a little bit from the normal ANSI standards. I'm just going to go right back to ANSI, leave it as is, hit OK. That puts everything back to normal. So let's take a look at what else we got here and here. So uh, under dimensions, also under angle, uh, I can change um, specifically the, the, the precision for, for angles, um, uh, chamfers, you can call out uh, the position of the text, so as a horizontal text, um, horizontal underlined, aligned, um, angled. So you can change the way the position of the text will be. I'm going to leave it as the default. Let's go to diameter. You can change uh, position as well. So I can change it to be like that, like that, or like that. I'm going to leave it like that. That's my personal preference. A uh, whole call out. So just the same thing, uh, the default. And then we also have uh, inline and uh, broken leader align text. I'm going to leave it like that. That's my personal preference, preference as well. And the same thing, you can change the font specific to uh, whole call outs as well as the precision. Linear, much the same way. Um, change the way the text is aligned. Um, radius, same thing as uh, diameter. So that's going to do it for this video. Um, be sure to hit a like, comment for um, more content such as this, and we'll see you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.